Joo. Mä oon kerran vaan ota se. Ja kala, niin mä näin jonkun näkö mun ennen. Tää on mun varaa. Sinun on niin iso vahti. Kiinno ja kai. Mä oon tisuvat sitä kahvaa, niin mä oon suunut. Ja kai niin tunnun mä, että mä kerran, että mä oon varaa. Tänään ei ole. Mä oon kerran vaan tehty, mä oon kerran vaan tehty. E che tu ti dici di arrivare, cosa vuoi essere? Che se vuoi scappare tu dici? Non se vuoi che non ti lascia il gol. Che ti crea che hai quei giorni? Che ne hai io, che io, che ti crea che non ti lascia. Che ti vuoi che io non ti crea che non ti crea che non ti crea che non ti crea che non ti crea. Non ti crea che 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 non ti crea Ja niin saa sua, niin ne voi jäädä kehittää. I've been asked to stop over and uh, say a few words of welcome to you. And then they told me the important topic that you are covering. That relates to the health of our people and Mother Earth and the changes of life that has occurred and has been occurred. So first of all, we want to extend our sincerest words of welcome to you for coming, making this long journey, and attend this very important gathering. We have not had a chance to sit together, but we can share with you that we have seen, our people have seen this coming for quite some time. The changes of our Mother Earth in the late 1700s, after contact, there was a man named Hanson Lake, who was one of the chiefs of the Seneca Nation. And he went into sickness. And then, for a time, it appeared that he had died. And his daughter, who was looking after him, laid him down prepare him for him. Wake, burial, and all the time they were putting his best, finest traditional clothes on, <clears throat> they saw that maybe he wasn't, uh, he wasn't dead. So they stayed with him. And from that time of a few days, when his eyes opened again, he told them, he said, I, I have been to the spirit world. I've had four messengers that took me into the future. And they have told me of a warning for our people, things to watch out for. It's going to happen in the future, he said. There will be great changes on our land. The fish will come up, turn over, be sick, dying, that we depend on. The trees, as we see them, as beautiful as they are, but they're going to start dying from the top down. These are all signs that he told them to watch out for. These are children of our nations. We'll speak a different language other than our own. So, when you see all those things coming about, and there were many others that he told them to watch out for, that changes are coming up. He says, in these times, when you reach these times, the air that you breathe will be very different, and changes have come about in a rather short time. <clears throat> It's not hard to see that we are in that period of change. There was something of a purpose when he came back. He said, I want you to tell all your people. For us, he says, don't lose who you are as a people. Your connection to the land, your knowledge of the medicines, your appreciation for the life that we get, how we to acknowledge one another. 
traditional teachings. But with Christianity, government, police, residential schools, in the space of the last 250 some years, a lot of that has been lost. Well, just like in the prophecy, many of the young people have took notice of our traditional teachings and prophecies. And the rebellion has started about the last 20 some years. Our people went back to their traditional names. They have relearned the ancient songs and ceremonies. And they've stood up for their nations and resurrected a lot of their traditional beliefs. And so we've seen young ones in our midwinter ceremonies carrying the songs of many of our elders that have passed on. It is with that has been part of the prophecy that when you see these signs, the resurrection of hope, of a promise that the world will continue on, those were the signs that we were waiting for. There's another element. There's four great races in the world. And they say they need to come together and recognize that something terribly wrong has been going on in the world. They all need to step forward and share with one another solutions according to the prophecies of their people because it is the same. We need to acknowledge that there's been great pain and suffering on Mother Earth. We need to pass that to all our societies, all our peoples. And so the work that has started with Akasustas, Mohawks, Cayugas, Senecas, Onondagas, all the Haudenosaunee communities, we started to get in touch with them again, relate with them. Last weekend, we had a great lacrosse all-nation tournament for our people to be together again. So we see all the signs of hope for ourselves. Young ones now are relearning their language, keeping it strong. No longer being ashamed of being a Wehoe, of being an indigenous person, but finding great pride and strength. Speaking with our elders, learning from them. And so it is with that in vain that I welcome you to Akwesasthe. For part of that prophecy that we talk about is being fulfilled when other races of people will sit down and say, there's harm to Mother Earth. We must work to resolve it and fix it. With those words, I welcome you. What's going on? Yeah.